Hello YouTube, this is Billy Warren 22 doing a, a video on uh, a woman who's appearing on Time Magazine breastfeeding her three-year-old son who will actually be four next month. I don't know about you, but I find this disgusting. In my opinion, this this woman is an attention junkie. Of course, you can many people may replace the word junkie with an, another term well known in this phrase, but I will be kind and call her attention junkie. I'm looking at it, and there's a article about this. Time cover shows three-year-old breastfeeding by Alice Comstein. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's on the ABC website. Um, should a mom... Quote, this is in the uh, article. Should a mom continue nursing her child even after he's too big to be held in her arms? For mothers who practice what is known as attachment parenting, the answer is an emphatic yes, and some are more than happy to demonstrate. This week's cover of Time Magazine shows Los Angeles mother Jamie Lynn Crummett nursing her three-year-old son who reaches her breast with the help of a chair. When you think of breastfeeding, you think of mothers holding their children, which was impossible for, with some of these older kids. Photographer Martin Scholler said in a Time Magazine online story explaining the cover photo, I like the idea of having the kids standing up to underline the point that this was an uncommon situation. The cover story illustrated by the photo takes a look at the philosophy of attachment parenting today, which, in addition to extended breastfeeding, also promotes co-sleeping co and using slings to wear infants and in roots in the 1992 Parenting Guide, the baby book by Dr. Bill and Martha, Martha Sears. Time has posted photos of other nursing mothers featured in its story, including Missouri mom Deanna Ford of Kansas City, Missouri, shown here at the right with her four-year-old and five-month-old children. The magazine will be on newsstands Friday. Time tweeted out the cover this morning, and the buzz has been building on Twitter ever since. One apparent supporter of attachment parenting called it inflammatory and an insult to at AP or attachment parents, moms everywhere, while other tweeters criticize it as sexualized. It has also already been the subject of, of parody with the blog supermexican.com posting a doctor version of the photo with President Obama's head atop the body of the nursing mother and Sandra Fluke, the Georgetown University Law School student infam infam uh, infamously called a slut by conservative talk, show, uh, talk radio Rush Limbaugh as the nursing child. Nightline correspondent Juju Chang recently interviewed sitcom star Mayhem Bielik, I hope I pronounced that right, about her practice of attachment pairing. Watch and read about the interview here. I'm not going to go on. I mean, you get the point. Um, this is disgusting. Let me go back to, uh, excuse me, the, the photographer, Martin Scholler. My opinion, your child pornographer. Okay, yes, I'm all for breastfeeding, and I have no problem with a woman possibly breastfeeding in public, as long as she is discreet and respectful for all others. I am not against her taking what is a God-given natural thing, okay? But this isn't celebrating it. Now, if this, if this was a five-month-old and mother was discreet, okay, fine. You say breastfeeding is making a comeback, fine, but this isn't. He is four years old. He's looking clearly at the camera. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't quite understand. He can't fully grasp what's going on. So he's unaware that he is exploited for this woman's attention junkie syndrome. AJS. How about that? You know, and of course you might want to call AWS if you want to replace the word junkie with, you know. Okay, I'll just say it. She is an a, a, attention whore. But the problem is she's she's whoring off her own son too, but she doesn't care. There's I even saw she apparently also adopted a child from Africa and has a pictures of both of them. I think the child is is around the same age, maybe even older than than her biological son. Both breastfeeding at the same time raises the question: Where's dad in all this? Makes you wonder if. I mean, I don't, I haven't looked, I don't know if she's married or, or what, but 
Where's dad? Where's this this boy's father? Does he know? Or people? If, you probably don't know if he didn't know to begin with. If he's if she's still married to him, I, I if I were her husband, I would say this ends now. Three years ago. I would give you up to one year. Should be lesser than that, but one year, but not three going on four. It's disgusting. And and down here, like I said, this other mother, Deanna Ford of Kansas City, Missouri, has a her child is actually four years old and a five month old breastfeeding at the same time. It looks like she's wearing a wedding ring, so I would have to assume she's married. Where's her husband? Where's he protecting this these children from exploitation? And embarrassment and humiliation of his family. Of course, well, I don't say it, but you should. This is wrong and disgusting. He's four years old. I like to ask these kids, can you can you hold a cup? I mean, four years old is old enough to basically, no, not to be able to use a real cup, but at least a sippy cup. Disgusting. That's that's what this is. It's disgusting. Um. And it's part of this new trend of attachment parenting. To all those moms out there who, who you know, I, 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 I applaud you to wanting having closeness with your children, but... Cut the umbilical cord, please. Stop. You're going to make it worse for them in the long run. I know I, I, I've been affected by that. I love my mom to death, but... Being that I didn't have a, a father figure in my life, I became too attached to her, I became too complacent, and feminized in many respects. Not anymore. I don't want to be that way. I want to be a man. I just wanted to put this out there. I mean, it's disgusting. And shame on Time Magazine. I know they want to be uh, provocative, but come on, have some decency. And see, we're not going to go there. And for, to the to to that woman and both of them, Jamie Grummet and pardon, excuse me, look, was that was that her name? I apologize if it's not. Uh, yeah, Jamie Lynn Grummet and Deanna Ford. Ladies, please detach your son's lips from your nipples, and to their husbands, sit them down and say, "Baby, it's time for him to man up." I mean, if this I mean, and if this was the other way around, it depicted a father constantly taking baths with his children, and the children have are just fine. Now, I can understand if the child has special needs, and I, I can under, I can say that okay, fine. Maybe some some mental fac you know the me mental faculties are limited or whatever, and okay. But if the child is healthy and should be able to bathe themselves, and a dad was always getting in there, you know, and took a picture of it for Time Magazine, you. It'd be a pretty uh, solid bet that the feminist movement would be screaming to high heaven that this guy was a pedophile. But because this is a natural, God-given thing, come on, feminist, some of you have to have some m sense among you to think this is wrong. This is shameful. Anyway, I want to put that out there. Um, I'm going to be putting on another video here shortly, maybe even tonight, about another issue down in Florida. I'm going to look it up. And uh, voice my very disappointed opinion about a court case down there that has sent a woman to prison for 20 years for defending herself. Look for that. God bless you and good night.